Hi, welcome to What's in My Bag. Today we're in Amoeba San Francisco with Trevor Dunn, bass player extraordinaire. Check out what you're buying today. Well, let's see. What did I end up with? Lenny Tristano, live in New York. Kind of been on a little bit of a Tristano kick. Um, actually, been playing some of his tunes with some friends of mine in New York. It's kind of why I got this. <laughs> is that a group you have now? That is it a new group or it's, is it um, ongoing? Right now, it's just like a bunch of friends getting together and, and um, jamming, basically uh -huh. playing sessions. Okay. But we'll, hopefully we'll start doing some gigs. Awesome. Yeah. I bought the new um, Dirty Projectors. I saw them, these guys live once and I wasn't really into it. Then, uh, I don't know, I've been hearing a lot about this record, so I like to check out what the kids are checking out these days. That's definitely one that the kids are listening yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and which is another same reason I got um, Grizzly Bear. New Grizzly Bear record. Good friend of mine told me this is a great record, so word of mouth. I still buy records based on word of mouth. Another friend of mine told me about this band, The Bronx from LA. Yeah! It's kind of like dirty rock music. <laughs> Something for every mood a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Helmet Lockerman. I believe he's German, composer. Um, I saw a performance of this string quartet that was totally amazing. And actually, I've been looking for this for a while, so finally found it here at my favorite record store. And um, John Cage, Freeman Etudes. These um, solo violin pieces that, pieces that our Diddy played. Oscar Pettiford, Sextet. Jazz. <laughs> Did that just strike your fancy, or are you um, a fan of Oscar? I, actually, you know, he was a bass player who um, broke his arm and started playing cello. And I actually play in this group in New York with Eric Friedlander, who's a cello player. And he started this trio kind of um, based on that idea of like cello as a lead instrument in, j in a jazz group. Oh, okay. So um, I've been trying to check out more Oscar Pettiford. Uh -huh. And um, Vincent Perschetti. American composer, string quartets. I've actually never seen this record, so. I'm not familiar with his work. Yeah, he, um, actually he wrote, I, I heard about him in high school because he wrote a lot of stuff for like young groups, young orchestras and stuff. Music that's kind of, it's 20th century, but it's a little easier than most 20th century music. Um, and for some reason I've just always kind of checked him out. I think just because that just, it's, Part of it's just like he's one of the first like composers I ever heard. And so this is string four string quartets. Um, seems like a cool record. I love string quartets. So. So what other music stuff do you have coming up? Um, Any releases coming out this year? Or? Uh, I'm on a. I just did a bunch of recording with John Zorn. Mm -hmm. uh, a few different things. Uh, this band, The Dreamers. Um, a new uh, another Moonchild record. Uh, a new project he calls Apparitions, soundtrack thing. And uh, in the meantime, I'm just, I have this new rock band, Mad Love, that put out a record last year. And uh, so I'm gonna try and start writing some more music for that. It sounds like you're pretty busy with music. Yeah, so yeah. Sure. <laughs> Actually, it's why I'm in San Francisco right now. To do, I was just telling these guys to do a couple uh, concerts in town. Um, with San Francisco guys, actually, or Bay Area guys, I should say, with Ben Goldberg and uh, Scott Amendola. I think it's part of the San Francisco Jazz Festival. Well, Trevor, thanks a lot for yeah. talking to us yeah, today. Yeah, bet. Thanks yeah. for selling me your records. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs>
Bye-bye.